come on, come on. If I don't get me dinner soon, I'll miss Weekend Magazine. Well, what's the panic? You can watch it and eat at the same time. What? Eat in front of the ABC? Have you gone mad, boy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you are. Eat it and stop your bitching. What's that? Frankfurts. They're raw. I can't eat raw Frankfurts. <laughs> They're not raw. I cooked them. They're not cooked. This one's not split. Of course it's not split. They're skinless Frankfurts. Why can't I have skin on me Frankfurts? They'll always give me skin on me Frankfurts. I can't eat naked Frankfurts. <laughs> you never eat the skin. You always peel it off because you reckon it gives you hiccups. It does. Frankfurt skin's made by the Pirelli rubber mob. <laughs> when you swallow it, it goes round and round your stomach for hours. It might be just as good chewing on a balloon. They're not made of rubber. Well, what are they made of, Mr. Smarty Emu Face? Frankfurt skins are made of... I don't know. See? I know you don't, I win and I'm the king of the castle. <laughs> There's something very wrong with you, Dad. There's nothing wrong with me, mate. I just want skin on me Frankfurts. Why? Because if I can't have skin on me Frankfurts, what am I going to have to chuck away? <sighs> For God's sake, Dad, they're skinless footy franks. Mum buys them for you because you insisted on them after seeing that commercial with all the footy players hitting each other. Oh, oh footy franks, why didn't you say so? What team's on the label? Oh, the Tigers. I'm not eating them. Why not? If the Tigers play dirty. I'm not eating mongrel franks. They're the same frankfurts. They're not the same. I want magpie franks because magpie franks are skillful. The boys in the team eat them and they never stop running. <laughs> to the greyhounds. Maybe they'll start running. You're not giving that junk to the dogs? Put it in the oven. Your mother will eat it when she comes home later. <laughs> Bloody woman, where is she? Tarry hooting around with all that arty, crafty glomp? No wonder the country's in a mess. Dad, arty, crafty glomp is no way to describe the Wombat Crescent Arts and Crafts Co-op. Mum and the other ladies are making quite a thriving little business out of it. Bull! All they do is sit around spinning sheep's hair and showing each other photos of their menopause. <laughs> Crafts. And that's a good hobby for them. Hobby? Ha! It's therapy. They're all mad. One of them's so loony, all she does is sit in the corner and tie knots and bits of string. That's macrame. I don't care. I don't care what her name is. <laughs> she should be locked up. Someone should blow craft shops up. What's wrong with mum enjoying herself for a few hours? Sunday's their biggest day. All the tourist buses come past because of that actor bloke who moved in down the road. Him? Mad poofter actor, he's so loony he rushes out at, out at midnight and chucks rocks at fruit bats because he reckons they poop in his pool. <laughs> you do the same. I do not, we haven't got a pool. <laughs> you still chuck rocks at fruit bats? Yeah, that's to send them down to that mad poofter actor's place down the road. <laughs> so they won't poop on the Kingswood. <laughs> Oh, look at the time. Where is that woman? The ABC waits for no man. Oh, what's so important about Weekend Magazine? It's educational. They're doing a special bit tonight about a bloke who makes shoes out of beer bottles. Well, why is he making shoes out of beer bottles? Because he built his house out of bottle tops. <laughs> and a lot of beer bottles left over. The man's a genius. <laughs> Australian, of course. Yeah. Oh, Craig, it's me. Yes, Mum. <laughs> Ted? Look, Ted, it's me. Yeah. Uh, Who eat, Ted? The Frankfurts haven't got any skin on them. Oh, oh well, that's because I peeled them before I went out. Uh, no, Mum. Uh, Craig, Thanks. Craig, I am telling your father I peeled the Frankfurts just like I tell him it's Maxwell House and I just keep it in the Nest Cafe jar. <laughs> Whatever you say, Mum. You can't fool me about food, boy. I'm a gourmet. Now, pass me the sauce. And where's the pickle for me spuds? And, and, and where's me coffee? Oh, yeah, a real gourmet. He dips his frankfurts in his coffee. Listen, boy. <laughs> All right, I'll have your coffee. Do you want one too, Mum? What a lovely thought, Craig. No. <laughs> <laughs> Find the coffee in the jar marked Nest Cafe. Yes, Mum. You'll have to add water, otherwise it'll be a bit dry. Yes, Mum. <laughs> oh, and Craig, Craig, feel the jug from the cold tap, not the hot tap. Why? I don't trust hot water. It's been through too many pipes. <laughs> Besides, your father doesn't like the taste of hot water. But if I boil cold water, it'll still be hot. That's different. It doesn't have that ream taste. <laughs> well, Ted, guess what we made today? About 400 yards of knotted string and a leather scarf. <laughs> no, Ted. We made $300 
each. The Wombat Crescent Craft Co-op bolted in. <laughs> Pickle me, grandmother! 300 bucks for string! A man should open a jute mine. A busload of Japanese tourists came by. They took hundreds of photos of all the ladies and the crafts in their natural state. They bought everything, Ted, including 158 purple sheepskin tea cosies. <laughs> Was their tea getting cold? No, their heads! They thought, they thought they were hats! <laughs> My teeth are aching from all that smiling. Not to mention the barking and arse-sewing. I'll give them more than arse sew. I'll give them arse sew. Hey. <laughs> have some respect. They are our northern neighbours. They have journeyed from the land where Datsuns grow. <laughs> One of them actually made my late Datsun. He got very upset when I showed him a photo of the wreck. Why? Because you were standing on top of it, planting an Australian flag in the bonnet. He can get upset all he likes. We've got his 300 bucks and now I can put an air conditioner in the carport. Ted, <laughs> it is my 300 and the carport does not need air conditioning since you put the pink bats in. I'm going to put it down as a deposit on a nice new lounge suite. What do we want a new lounge suite for? We've only just got rid of the Maya smell out of this one. I thought we could have it cleaned up and give it to Greta and Bruno. Run eat up your Franks, they're getting cold. No time for Franks now, Phil. James Dibble waits for no man. Now, where's my coffee? Here you are. About bloody time. And we're not getting a new lounge suite. The one we've got's good enough. There's not a mark on it. Oh! <laughs> I'm home. Ted, it's you. Of course it's me. I'm home. But you can't be home. You didn't come through the back door. The front door is only for visitors. <laughs> Thought I'd give you a surprise. You did, Ted. Coming through the front door, bold as brass. Next thing I know, you'll be giving me flowers. Are you mad, woman? We're married. <laughs> you got your flowers and we're engaged. They were plastic. I've still got them. Well, I should think so. They cost me two and six. <laughs> Flowers don't grow on trees, you know. Ted, Ted, listen to me. Look, if I should suddenly pass away tonight while I'm thawing the chops... Well, you better leave me an note on how to cook them. <laughs> but if it should happen, I want you to know that my $300 craft money is hidden behind the Aspros in the bathroom cabinet. Oh, no, I found it this morning when I was shaving. But you couldn't have, Ted. I mean, you can't shave with an Aspro. <laughs> Why did you need an Aspro? Well, you've got to soak the blood up with something. <laughs> anyway, don't worry about the 300 bucks. I bought a gold mine with it. Where? In the lounge room. Ted, I am not going to have herds of men with lights on the front of their hats tramping around the lounge room. They'll ruin the carpet. Will you listen to me, woman? Come and have a look. We're going to be rich. If I'm going to have to clean up after a gold mine every night, I'm going to need a new hoover. Where are you going to put the pit ponies? I'm not going to fit a few in Greece's old room, I Oh, we're not going to dig up the lounge room, Phil. Look. What? Oh. Oh, I never knew that gold mines came in kit form. <laughs> <laughs> Which box has got the gold in it, Ted? Let's open that one first. Will you listen to me, woman? It's not gold, it's whammo. What do you need all that ammo for? You haven't even got a gun. <laughs> it's whammo with a wha. You must have heard of it. Whammo, the miracle detergent. What are we going to do with it? Sell it. But, but you just got it in the house. Look, retail, this lot is worth a thousand bucks. I bought it for 300. We'll flog it door to door and make 700 bucks, see? Oh! How? Well, with this. Merv and the pub says it can't fail. I see, I see. You give away a suitcase with every bottle. Just <laughs> Wouldn't it be better to sell the suitcase and give away the whammo? Look, all the information and stuff is inside here. You simply follow the directions and it can't fail. Oh, I see. Like that time you tried to, to push that squash chip inside the bottle. They put the wrong bottle in the kit. Mm, last time you said it was the wrong ship. 
Well, it wasn't my fault. I didn't know the Endeavour had sales. <laughs> anyway, in just a few moments, I'll be ready to do my sales pitch. Uh, that's a technical term for flogging. In the meantime, you go out to the kitchen and pretend you're a customer. And when I'm fully prepared, I'll give you a call. I've got a better idea. I'll go in the kitchen and pretend I'm a cook. <laughs> Greta, it's you. Oh, oh look, 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 Bruno, it's great. I, uh, you're here too. Look, Greta, it's great. Yeah, thanks, Bruno. <laughs> well, a big cooey to both of you then. Cooey! <laughs> there you are. Good, Mrs. B. I really needed that. Oh, talking about things you really need. Great, I bought you a present from the craft shop. Oh, Mum, you shouldn't have. Oh, what is it? Oh, uh, uh, don't open it. Then it won't be a surprise. I'll just whisper it to Bruno. A sheepskin steam iron cover? <laughs> I thought you'd be surprised. Oh, we are. Oh, what colour is it? Purple. <laughs> oh, what luck. Um, how does it work, Mum? Oh, it's organic, Greet. You see, you just slip it over the iron and it keeps it nice and warm while you're on the phone. Gosh, Mum, I don't know what to say. Oh, why don't you try thank you? Such a long time since I've heard that in this house, what with your father and things. But let's, let's not drag my depression into this. Things are bad enough as it is. No, 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 Mum, Mum. What's wrong? Nothing, nothing. Nothing's wrong. No, oh, the old nothing's wrong. Greta throws that one too, don't you, darling? Only when you've done something dreadful and refused to admit it. Mm. Now, what is it, Mum? Oh, Greta. Greta, it's your father. Ted, my husband. <laughs> Bruno's father-in-law, Craig. Yes, that. I know. <laughs> what has he done? He has taken my Japanese money from behind the Aspros and bought 30 cases of Whammo. You mean he got a yen for some detergent? <laughs> <laughs> it was a rotten joke. Where? Oh, don't worry about it, Mrs B. Hey, listen, Whammo, isn't that that shady pyramid-selling outfit? Oh, oh dear. Oh, don't, don't, don't tell your father. Please don't tell your father. He is very keen to get rich at the moment, and if he gets bored, we'll get stuck with all that ammo the same way that we got stuck with those 5,000 luminous Victor blades. <laughs> Not to mention all those boxes of cardboard fish hooks. Where is GB? Who? Grumble bum. Oh, um, he's practicing his sales pitch, which is the technical term for flogging, which I gather has something to do with a dead horse. <laughs> Grumble bum? You mean Mr. Personality Plus is going to sell door to door? He's got as much charm and warmth as the tax department. <laughs> this I've got to see. In the lounge room. Greta and Bruno are here. Oh, he's not here. Ted, where are you? I'm in here working out my sales pitch. Are you ready, Phil? Yes, yes, Ted, we are. Isn't this exciting, Greta? <laughs> well, come on, Ted, we're waiting. Righto. Knock, knock. Oh, who's there? The Whammo Man. Come to brighten up your day. Oh, <laughs> well, come in, Mr. Whammo Man. <laughs> Here I am, the housewife's friend, the whammo man. I don't believe it. Watch it, mate. Able to leap tall doormats in a single bar. <laughs> Faster than a speeding koala. Knock it off, mate. Look, up in the sky. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's super dickhead. <laughs> Listen, Mr. Smarty Emu Face. Me, Emu Face? What about your legs? <laughs> you look so... so... so bulgy. <laughs> Why have you got it on? Because it's my surefire foot-in-the-door whammo kit. It's not a kit, it's a blimp. <laughs> Are you going to put the ejector seat in the Kingswood? Listen, you, shut up. While I demonstrate and show my product. Well... What do you reckon, Phil? Well, I... I mean, uh, you can't see my, uh, me, uh... <laughs> you know, can you? What? You know, me dingle twang. Dingle twang? Ted, not in front of the 
children. Oh, oh, right, eh? Right, well, uh, here's me sale pitch. <laughs> and me sales pitch. <clears throat> Good morning, young lady. I am Whammo Man. Do you have any unsightly, stubborn, horrible messes around the house? No, my husband isn't home yet. <laughs> Delma, this is serious. Oh. Sorry, dear. Let me demonstrate Whammo Miracle Detergent for you. Oh! What is this unsightly mess here? That's a grumble bum throw. <laughs> Let me remove the stubborn coffee stain. Uh, 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 be careful. This is our furniture, not a customer's. With one liberal application of Whammo, thus. <laughs> its powerful enzyme action goes to work, munching the stains away. Munch, munch, munch. <laughs> now let us leave for a moment and go into the kitchen to demonstrate Whammo's amazing grime gobbling action. Follow me. Oh, aren't you going to fly? Shut up, boy. <laughs> Now, where is the home of built-up grease and grime? The griller. But not for long when Whammo's around. Just one liberal squirt and Whammo goes to work. Do you realise what this means? Mm. It means the chops have gone all soapy. Why don't you tell me the chops are here? You didn't ask. Never mind, Turtles. Perhaps it's flavoured. But now, let's go back to the lounge to see the magically transformed furniture. This isn't Superman, it's the Roadrunner. <laughs> now, look what Whammo's done to the chair. Pickle me, grandmother! Whammo's powerful stuff has changed me chair into a stool. <laughs> Velma! What is it, Ted? What happened to me chair? Oh, um, yes, well, um, I was, um, thinking you might ask that. <laughs> Hoped you wouldn't notice. <laughs> well, what happened to it? Well, the upholstery man said that it wasn't worth a pinch of the proverbial. Well, whatever that means. <laughs> so, I, um, I, I sort of, um, well, I... I gave it away a bit. <laughs> what do you mean it's my chair? Well, I gave it to the nuns for their jumble sale. You what? Someone should blow you up. <laughs> Don't you blow me up, Edward Melba Bulpit. <laughs> if you hadn't stolen my money on that whammo, none of this would have happened. But it's my chair. I'm not having some vicious little nun flapping all over it. Out of my way, fella. Where are you going, Tim? Down to that nun HQ. I'm going to rescue my chair before they brainwash it with blessings. <laughs> Is that you, Ted? Ted, what have you done? Nothing. What? <laughs> what have you done to that nun? Nothing. What's that? Nothing. If that is nothing, why has it got a frame around it? Well, she stole my chair. Ted, we donated it. Same thing. Oh, that's the doorbell. Oh, Ted, it's gone all wonky. It's ringing after you came in. <laughs> Don't answer it. We're not home. Do you hear that? We're not home. We've gone to Africa. Ted, Ted, there's someone there. Well, it must be a dog. <laughs> uh, do you hear a dog? Well, then it must be a very tall dog. <laughs> See, oh, I'm not home. Oh, sorry to bother you, Mrs. Bullpit. I've come to bother your husband. I'm not home. Mr. Bullpit, will you kindly give back our Pope? <laughs> <laughs> Give me back my chair first. What, what, what's going on? Mr. Bullpit, or as our kids more aptly describe him, Big Bum Bullpit. <laughs> Stampeded straight through our fate preparations, collapsed three tents, one containing Mother Superior and the urn, then rushed off with our Pope. <laughs> Ted, you give them back their washing machine this instant. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> no, Cobber, bless you. The Pope, the bloke. <laughs> I am sorry. No. I'm holding him to ransom. Not one step closer or the Pope gets it. Gets what? A moustache and glasses. <laughs> I'll black out a tooth and give him cross eyes. You wouldn't dare. Oh, watch me, mate. This biro is loaded. He means it. He is dangerous with the biro. I've seen what he's done to crosswords. <laughs> Mr. Bullpit, give me back the Pope. Give me back my chair. I can't. Why not? I sold it. Who to? Just a minute. I've got the receipt here. We sold it to a Mr. Bruno Bertolucci. <laughs> Tickle me grandmother, I'll walk in me chair. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Oh, Bruno, it looks marvellous. How did you do it? Oh, I made a mind. He owed me a favour. Oh, 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 I saw all about that in The Godfather. Oh. <laughs> Mrs B, that sort of thing only happens in the movies. Oh, but Ted will be so thrilled. What about all the whammo? Don't tell me Captain Kingswood sold it. No. Sister Maria and I did some business. <laughs> she said that if they sold it at the fate, we could split the profits. And? So I got my 300 back. <laughs> Gosh, Sister Maria looked a trick in that whammo suit. I can't... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll teach you home. Bloody shambles, of course. I had to park next to that Catholic... There's no time for blowing up nuns tonight, Ted. <laughs> Bruno and I've got a surprise for you. Haven't we, Bruno? G'day, Grumble Bum. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, in the lounge room. Oh. There. Pickle me, Grandmother! It's me chair, it's risen from the grave! <laughs> oh, thank you. I now declare this chair open, and may God bless all who sit in her. <laughs> there. Aren't you going to thank me? <laughs> yeah. Pardon? Yeah. That's better. Ah, 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 ah. What? Mrs. B and I have got an agreement, haven't we? I'm afraid so, Ted. What agreement? I fixed the chair, so when I'm here, it's my chair. <laughs> <laughs> Pull up a sofa, Teddles. <coughs> Bloody wog! <one. laughs>